This installation is in Royal Caribbean's newest ship, the Ovation of the Seas. This was a 20 foot by approximately 10 foot interactive digital video wall. So we have eight LCD displays, uh, which are in an asymmetrical configuration on the wall. And then around those displays are lower resolution LEDs, which are backlighting a frosted glass panel. Everything was modular, everything serviceable uh, from the front because we have no rear access in this point. The biggest architectural challenge of this project was the limited depth. We had only about 16 inches between a big concrete wall and the front side of the glass of the installation, and we needed at least five inches of space between the LEDs and the back side of the glass wall in order for that light to disperse effectively. And we also had telescoping mounts and active ventilation, so in the end we had about a quarter of an inch of tolerance between all the components. This for us was a perfect project. It was uh, a merging of architectural design and integration, interactive programming, industrial design. It was a design and engineering feat to design for this type of environment to anticipate all the different variables and tolerances that we needed to account for. The idea was to have content be able to travel from a high resolution space into a lower resolution LED space and we take an infrared camera which is positioned across the hall from this wall and we position it looking at the, the video wall surface. And the idea is that we're picking up gestures of people walking by. If you pass by, you may brush the content or create a ripple effect. Uh, if you stand five feet in front of the display and move your hands around the interactive programming, it sees motion and sees your silhouette. Well, the project on this ship uh, is very interesting because it's an artwork that actually takes life when the passengers or the crew pass in front of it. It's not only a hard work that you see, it's an artwork that you get involved. To have a programming team that was able to adapt almost in real time and that they could program and tweak these physical variables of, of the different animations and different effects we were trying to create was, was great on site. This was essentially a blank virtual canvas and we created nine different types of content scenarios in which the, the basic premise was you could paint uh, various effects, be it stripes or blossoms or watercolor effect. And so you always really felt that you were painting or in this case you were, you were the artist and you had a, the ability to make a mark and also the accumulation of other people's interaction, you know, really made it uh, playful. We were really proud to have been invited by Royal Caribbean and Peter Millard to contribute to such an enormous collection of amazing artworks commissioned all over the ship. It was challenging on so many fronts, but the outcome was really amazing. I think it's really going to make a lasting impression on the visitors, and it's a great addition to the ship.